Hello, capitalist dogs. I am General Krukov, the one who will bring you defeat today. Brace yourselves for the might of the Red Navy. We will Commander, I'm Field Marshal Robert Bingham, Chief of the Allied Military Command. I've been told that you're a very capable officer. Well, let's hope this assessment is correct, as all our senior commanders are now fighting in Europe. I'd like you to meet Lieutenant Ava. She will be your intel officer and communications liaison. Glad to have you on board, sir. Field Marshal, the President is ready for you. Mr. President, I'd like you to meet our new commander on the ground. Greetings, Commander. You ready to send those commies running back to their mommies? I absolutely agree, Mr. President. Congratulations, Commander. You sent those bastards packing. They'll bloody well think twice before they try to invade us again. That was a win-win for everyone, Commander. Well, not the Reds. For them, it was more of a lose-lose. It's too bad our other commanders don't have your can-do attitude. I'll tell you what, Bingham, I like this new commander. Let's send him to France so he can kick a little more commie butt. Uh, actually, sir, I was considering that very possibility. I guess great minds do think alike. And just to show you I'm not all talk, I'm sending you our toughest, meanest, covert commando. Boys, I'd like you to meet Tanya. Hello, gentlemen. Tanya's the best we have. She can kill a man 15 different ways with her bare hands. So a word of advice, don't get on her bad side. Yeah, yeah, we're short on time here. Commander, I'm going to be your commando on the ground. Are you ready? All right, let's go. Good job, Commander. The Allied leaders have been liberated, and you've driven the Soviet army out of France. Tanya is currently working undercover and acquiring the latest intel on the situation. If I knew anything, I would tell you! Tanya? Commander! Lieutenant Eva! <laughs> Out here in the field, things get a little messy sometimes. Not so neat and tidy like they are back in the office. Don't worry, Commander. With a little practice, I'm sure your performance will only... improve. Space! This is unbelievable. Bingham, I heard a crazy rumor that I know can't possibly be true. What rumor are you referring to? That we're negotiating a peace treaty with the commies? Actually, it's more of a ceasefire. Bullpucky! You know those Russians can't be trusted. They hate everything we stand for. Freedom, liberty, the pursuit of happiness, apple pie. Did I say freedom? Oh, you aren't doing so well. Is this your first time? That was bang on brilliant, Commander. Excellent work. And I have to say, the Soviets are proving to be a valuable ally. Sir, Premier Chodenko is on the line. He says it's urgent. We won't stand for this treachery, Bingham. Do you hear me? My advice has warned me against trusting you allies. I'm sorry, treachery? What the hell is going on? Those Reds are playing you for a fool, my friend. And as long as I'm the president of these United States, I can't allow them to lead this dance. Oh, God. He's clearly out of his tree. None of you have the guts to do what needs to be done, so I'm going to wipe those Soviets off this earth myself. And you can't stop me. Should my heart stop beating, the weapon fires. Well, he's done it. He's gone stark raving mad. Get out of my way so I can save the free world. Ah, Commander. That was a close one. I can assure you, we did the right thing. Ackerman put the whole world in danger with that mad stunt. I'm glad to see you made it back in one piece, Commander. Excellent job at Mount Rushmore. I trust you're good to go. You can flirt with the Commander later, Lieutenant. Right now, we have a job to do. I wasn't flirting, sir. I was just, you know, making conversation. Perhaps not the fate that they had in mind. I don't understand what happened to those Russians, though. They'd better have a good explanation. Sir, a top Soviet scientist has defected to Berlin. His name is Dr. Gregor Zelinsky. I have him connected. Oh, Mr. Bingham, thank you. You must listen to me. Nothing is as it should be. All right, calm down. We have created time machine. A time machine? Yes, yes. What? You caught them by the short and curlies, Commander? They didn't know what hit them. 
You didn't forget my invitation, did you, Commander? I was hoping you were free this evening. Not bad, huh, Commander? I clean up pretty good. How about celebrating over a drink tonight? I know this great little pub in Soho. Commander? Commander? That's a load off our backs. That could have been quite disastrous.